Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a red goth metal grunge eye makeup look like this. But before we get to that, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and I really appreciate everybody who does. Comment down below if you want to ask me any questions about the look, how I do the look, or you just want to have a chat. I love having a chat with you guys in the comments. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and if you have, thank you so, so, so much. Remember to hit that notification bell so that you find out whenever I upload. And welcome people. So, red, goth, metal, grunge, eye makeup look. This is the look. I really enjoyed my doing it for you. If you want to see how to do this sort of red, smoky, grungy look, I used the, is it Makeup Obsession, which is from Boots. Uh, intoxicated in love palette to do this i did use another palette to do the transition shades but this is the palette that i used for the rest of the entire look so basically you just need a sort of medium mid transitiony brown and then this palette i love this palette you can get loads of different looks out of it look there's so many different things i actually featured this in my christmas gift guide 2019 link up there down below if you want to check out that video there's another palette in there as well that i really enjoy these palettes are like i think they're six pounds or eight pounds from boots i mean it's, it's a no-brainer really really enjoy these it's not the most amazing quality foundation uh, eyeshadow i'm sure that the jeffree star uh, blood sugar palette is a higher quality eyeshadow but for six pound <laughs> I'm quite happy with it. So, and you can do this amazing red goth metal grunge look. So, stay tuned. I'll show you how I do the look. And of course, stay tuned for potato face. <laughs> Here's my potato face. Well, potato face with a little bit of foundation on and some eyebrows this time because you've seen that before. If you want to see the video where I show you how I do my base, our eyebrows, link up there and down in the description. But today we're just focusing on the eyeshadow. So, red and black. Now, I've got my intoxicated palette. First thing we're going to do is prime the old eyes. Using my, my Urban Decay primer. Okay, right, so I'm going to do my transition shade first. Now, I know I said that I'm using the Intoxicated In Love palette, but it doesn't have a good enough transition shade. They're all too shimmery. And you can get away with the shimmery transition shade when you're younger, but because I am heading towards 40, it you can't, it's it just it doesn't work on older skin. You you have too many wrinkles, it, it just you need the transition shade to be matte. So this is my Revolution Flawless Matte Palette in many, many shades of brown. So I'm gonna go for a sort of pinky medium colour. So I'm going to go for this one here, not too dark, but not too light either. And I'm going to go almost up to the brow. I'm going to leave a little bit of space, but almost up to the brow because I can always blend it out a bit later. But it's really frustrating when you don't go up high enough. There we go, a little bit under the eye and out, under the eye and out, et voila, transition shade. Right, so first thing that I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use this bright red here on my eyelids using a flat packing brush. So I'm going for the bright red in love and I am going to pack it onto the lids. I'm using a patting motion. As you can see, I'm going up past my crease. Because where I have hooded eyes, I want to create a false crease. And the same on the other side. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to blend out the corners with a darker shade. So I'm using my Real Techniques blending brush. I'm going to give it a make it all clean with my colour cleaner. If you look, it's 
like you can't really see it in the camera it's like a sponge now i'm going to use the shade infatuated which is this much darker red shade here and that i'm going to put in the corners and the crease of it this is to just darken it up i must admit normally when i do this i keep my face down because at least then any fallout just falls onto the floor, not onto my face. So I've darkened the crease a little. Nowhere near blended out yet though. A little bit more. I'm gonna get a little flat brush and I'm gonna go into the shade True, which is a black. A little bit in that outer corner there. And I'm gonna go along the lash line here give it like a grungy metal look. Same here. Right, and then I'm just gonna sculpt out the shape here. And there. And then, with my blending brush that I've cleaned off as much of the excess as I possibly can, I'm going to start blending that and lots and lots of blending. Okay, I'm going to use a slightly different blending brush now. This is a much bigger, fluffier blending brush. And I'm just going to take all this colour up. Well, I think I'm going to need a little bit more. I'm going to use a little bit of the Infatuated again. Just a tiny bit, just start to go up a little bit so that it fades out, it's not as harsh. And same on this side, so I'm just going to use it with nothing on it first. Just move the colour up a little bit, go into a tiny, literally a dot of infatuated and just move that up. Oh, definitely got fallout on my face again. I'm going to go back in under the eyes. I'm going to go back in with my In Love bright red shade. And I'm just going to use the really flat edge of this. Go right along. To line their eyes. And then I'm going to take this teeny tiny little brush, literally dab it into their infatuated colour that darker red and I'm going to blend together that little black fleck that I put in the corner there with the red take it out there we go and the same on this side tiny dot of, in, of uh, yeah, infatuated and then blend them together there I think this side needs a little bit more blending. Right. It doesn't matter too much though because the last shade that I want to use, I'm going to go into Captivated, which is this shade. This is more of a bright colour and I'm going to just put it onto the lid here. Clear that brush off again and I'm going to get my big ass brush, give it a really good clean and just blend everything out. I always think it looks a little bit messy until I can get the eyeliner in. Now, you don't need to do anything super neat if you don't want to. I like to do a wing, it's just what I like to do. I think it makes, I've got quite close together eyes. I think extending it out at the side there with the eyeliner really helps make my eyes look less close together um, because also if you, go out too far you get a lot of texture because I'm getting older so I'm using my Maybelline uh, gel eyeliner in the shade 01 black gel eyeliner comes with little eyeliner brush this stuff you can actually it's got a little you've got your little brush here but on the end it's got uh, one of these little like foam tip things and you can actually smudge it out so if you don't want to do 
a cat eyeliner, you can still use that and then just smudge it out. It's great for a smoky eye. Go right into the eyelashes, where the eyelashes meet the eyelid. And wing. And then I put a little bit on the bottom here. And then I use the paddy bit and just smudge it out. Smudge it out. There, cool. Right, mascara. Mascara always makes it. If I was going out, I'd put some false lashes on, but I'm not. I just fancied having red eyeshadow. Let's use my brush. Get rid of any excess. Let's carve out a little bit of a <laughs> contour. And a little bit of highlight. This is my Makeup Revolution Pro HD contour palette. I really struggle to find contours that aren't orange because um, I know, you know, regular girls like to look tanned. I do not. I go really tanned in the summer. <laughs> it's the bane of my life. Here's my lip primer. This is my MAC Prep and Prime lip primer. And I think we're going to do a grey lip today. There we go, right. Bit of my Urban Decay setting spray. <laughs> well, I hope you like this look. I love it. I love the bright red with that sort of black smokiness, just to give it a little bit more depth. I like the way you, that the the bright red of the in love going into the infatuated using the the black true to to deepen it up and then giving a little sparkle on the lid with the uh, captivated i've also done looks before with the obsessed uh, as like a darker glitter in the crease let me know if you'd like to see that one and I'm happy to do that look for you as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can find out whenever I upload and remember people, stay heavy. Yeah.